I, I did see in the video that the men did speak appreciably differently. Hmm. Uh, and it, it all you know, corroborates what it is that you were just hmm. saying there. But in the end, what do we take? What's, what's, our, what's our final take from all of this? How, does this, how should our <clears throat> research be taken by society at large to improve itself and, you know, the, in the grander scheme of things? In, Why the grander, does this all in the grander scheme of things, this is, again, just a small slice in terms of the world. So we looked at teenagers, um, pretty much in a relaxed setting, but they were, of course, just meeting for the first time. Um, in this context, men and women are going to be much more polite. They're going to be nicer, and they're going to be uh, pretty much watching what they say, more editing, and so it's going to be, it's, it's just one one bit of the puzzle of a big puzzle of men-female talk. Mm -hmm. If I were, if I had access and time and more money, I would love to go into a company and see, you know, in real life settings to see how the women talk in mm -hmm. the company and how the men talk and to see mm -hmm. exactly if, how that speech differs, if, mm -hmm. if at all. Mm -hmm. um, the bigger, bigger issue of course is the gender talk so when the men and the women talk to each other how does that all come together and as we found before that um, there were some big differences there so women have to learn how to do with performance expectations so what are men thinking in terms of uh, how they want the women to perform and part of this is a big issue so if the women start acting or talking more like a male that will rub the men the wrong way oh yeah that's you hear about that even in the news right. sometimes about certain women um being labeled as, as difficult to work with mm. only because she's trying to use what she sees as normal male behavior to her advantage mm. well yeah well, they, we, everybody has group goals but um in so many societies and even in japan um these there is these implicit rules that um sort of will govern how long a woman can talk mm -hmm. and um, how strongly she can talk, what words she can say, and how directly she can make her point. Mm -hmm. So right. it's just kind of a strange world in that respect. And it's also interesting, too, because uh, a lot of what we're dealing with here are university students in Japan. Mm. And again, like you were saying, if we had the money, if we had the resources, it would mm. be just really interesting to see how this works across age ranges in culture ranges mm -hmm. uh, which unfortunately we don't have the money to right. do uh, but uh, but it is still really interesting mm. and in terms of our kids i mean if they do want to take on international careers mm. if at least they can see themselves on video mm. as having these flaws or these problems mm. or these disadvantages of the way that they speak at least they know to what degree what it is that they have to repair or improve to mm. go and adjust into another culture. Oh, I think it's incredible. Very, inc uh, It is very important for people to actually see themselves on video and to see exactly how well they come across. And if possible, have a transcript to see exactly this is how fast you're actually speaking, this is mm -hmm. how much repetition that you have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is what you need to improve. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, Even just, you know, doing this... Uh, this work, all of these podcasts, all of these videos with you, it just taught me that um, I have a tendency to actually look like I'm frowning all the time. Me too. And yeah. and I realized, holy cow, I, I'm not frowning. I'm just right. thinking. I'm being right. serious. But I look like I'm frowning. And so now right, right. I'm, I'm actually becoming more serious about it, which, I mean, how, how can you fault that? But at the same time, right. it's how you're perceived. So right. it's, I think it's really important. Right. Right. Um, just a few minutes left. Uh, okay. Any other comments? Well, in short, basically, we I think it's a, a study that shows that uh, women should be a bit more aware, aware of how they're coming off. Right. And I would love to have, you know, so this takes us to a, a point in which, well, we should have communication classes for women, basically, to mm. learn how to better uh, uh, join groups' discussions, how to assert themselves better, um, how to um, talk with men. But at the same time, shouldn't we have specific communication classes for men to show them how not to be so aggressive, how not to put people off by mm -hmm. their normal male behavior? Right, I mean, exactly. there's nothing wrong with being male. Right. You, just, you should just understand what yeah. that actually entails. Right. And when you're dealing with women, mm. um, you, you should keep this in mind. Oh, I, I, I 
wholeheartedly agree. I mean, you've read the reports in different newspapers about Japanese business culture mm -hmm. and how sexist it is. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. You know, so, I'll just use that word. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a nightmare. So, um, so yeah, we could we could start just with basic communication, and about you know and you know really helping to improve the communication styles and just not you know there's a whole bunch of issues even yeah, getting rid of time. bullying and mm -hmm. harassment and, sure, sure. and and not just across genders but across I think the first thing that um, comes to mind when it comes to what it is that uh, Japanese society has to repair. Mm when they're dealing in another language, it's just a cultural um, barrier. That sure. still hasn't been fixed over right, these 40 right. or 50 years. Japanese people still um, have trouble mm. uh, relating to people from other countries. Right. Uh, they're better at it than they used to be in terms of dealing with Americans and North Americans. Mm. But now the doors have opened up to South Asians, mm -hmm. to, to Arabic countries, right. uh, and um, it's, it's still not that much better than it was before. Okay. Right. In my opinion. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you. you for coming out here on this uh, this wonderfully cloudy and rainy day. <laughs> okay.